Every construction project has a commercial and business operation side. Indeed, this module on estimating and commercial can be considered the backbone of any off-site enterprise, regardless of scale and location. Similar to the other off-site trading videos, we will cover some main differences between off-site and on-site construction, benefits and challenges for off-site construction, followed by applications and future opportunities. So here we go. The main difference between off-site and on-site construction when it comes to commercial process lies in the decision-making process of the procurement stage. I spoke on this topic with Anne Bentley, Global Board Director at Riddle Levitt Bucknell in London, to get to the bottom of what the differences are in the real world. With the traditional procurement model, the design typically progresses past planning approval without regards for the construction method. After the project goes to tender, contractors offer different construction methods to achieve the design at various costs. With off-site construction, the decision that a part of the building process will be transferred to a factory environment needs to be taken much sooner, ideally in the initial strategic definition stage. In this way, the design can be informed by the dimensional limitations of the selected off-site construction system. Transport regulations, for example, which we'll cover in more detail in the logistics video, can influence the standard width, height and length of the off-site system. If the building spatial design does not consider the component-based construction with standard dimensions, it is often complicated and time-consuming to reconfigure the approved design for off-site manufacturing. In this way, unfortunately, the opportunity to use off-site construction will be eliminated rapidly, simply due to timings in the procurement process. Off-site construction offers several estimating and commercial benefits. One of the leading benefits recognized by clients is reliability in resources management. With the increased control over materials and labor costs in the factory, the client can have higher certainty that the first cost figure they are presented with will also be the actual sum to be paid for the manufacturing part of the project. Afterwards, in the construction stage, the rapid component-based installation of off-site systems can ensure that the project is also delivered on time. As we all know, time is money. And this is especially true on a building site where increased time means increased staff, plant, permits and loan costs. In this way, with predictable and often reduced construction times, off-site systems offer the advantage of more reliable cost estimations. Unfortunately, off-site construction also has some challenges, especially in the level of required upfront capital investment in manufacturing facilities. At Ilke Homes in Yorkshire, for example, funding of more than £30 million was required to set up and scale up the factory to its current production of approximately 2,000 homes per year. fragmented construction industry with many micro, small and medium enterprises, an investment of this scale is not to be underestimated. The level of the upfront investment will depend on the size of the factory and its level of automation. Often businesses start production with manual processes and after some income is generated and built up, they invest it in gradually purchasing equipment and skills training. Another often encountered financial issue in off-site construction is cash flow. In the factory environment, all materials for the given project need to be procured in time for start of manufacturing with their relative lead-in times. This can mean everything from the structural materials, such as steel, timber or concrete, to the light bulbs and washing machines. This is why staged payments are often requested by the manufacturer 
to alleviate some of the pressure of having to spend company resources on labour, plant and materials upfront. Understandably, the stage payments at set intervals can make the clients apprehensive as they are providing payment before the project is completed. In practice, estimating for off-site construction in comparison to on-site construction can be challenging. If you don't have experience in estimating for off-site materials, plant and labour, it can be difficult to find accurate information in the standard databases and books. A useful starting point to understand estimation for off-site construction can be the Structural Timber Association's Masonry and Timber Frame Cost Comparison Report, published in May 2018, which showed that the two systems were on par in terms of costs to the client. Where off-site can offer application advantages over other construction systems is in understanding the whole life cycle cost of a project. With the help of building information modeling, not only the construction, but also the operating and maintenance costs of a building can be predicted early on in the process. Anne Bentley mentioned an example project where the main contractor was hired to upkeep the building for three years after construction. This meant that all the building works were delivered to a high standard and according to the specification, so as to make the contractor's job easier later on. These are exactly the types of advances we expect to see in the future on estimating and commercial work for off-site construction. What we may also see is increased use of Design for Manufacturing Assembly plus Disassembly, or DFMA plus D for short. This takes into consideration the reuse or refurbishment of some of the off-site components. Use of DFMA plus D can form an even more comprehensive and more sustainable picture of the building's whole life cycle costs. Another future opportunity to help drive more use of off-site in the construction industry is the development of more collaborative procurement models. In summary, estimating commercial activities are a key aspect to guarantee the success of an off-site project. The early engagement of all partners and the supply chain is fundamental in off-site construction projects. If the off-site manufacturer is involved early, costs for the manufacturing and on-site construction can be predictable for the client. Some challenges are, however, the upfront investment and accurate comparison to other building systems. In application, off-site construction can offer a better understanding of the whole life cycle costs. In the next few years, we expect to see this develop further alongside more collaborative procurement models. Congratulations on completing the off-site